this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and thank you so much for taking the time to take a look at this video. This is a fantastic comparison of different style active cut toolpaths that 1CNC provides for pocket machining. All four of these examples are machining the exact same pocket, cut from the exact same material, which is tool steel, using the exact same diameter tool and using the maximum sustainable feed rates as suggested by the tooling manufacturer. Now remember, all four of these examples started exactly at the same time. Let's break it down and talk about each one of these individually. In the lower right hand corner, you're looking at one CNC's high speed active cut tool path. We're using a solid carbide end mill, 16 millimeters in diameter. The depth of the pocket is 20 millimeters deep and it's only going to take one depth of cut to finish machining this pocket. You're going to see that this style of high speed active cut toolpath is going to machine the pocket faster than any other style. In fact, it's going to complete the pocket in just under two minutes. Next in the upper right hand corner, we're using a zigzag active cut toolpath. This type of toolpath machines the pocket in a lace pattern. But again, we're using a solid carbide end mill. Same thing, 16 millimeters in diameter. We're machining the exact same pocket, 20 millimeters deep. But in this example, it's going to take three depths of cut to machine that pocket. This style of toolpath will come in second place in our comparison, coming in right at about 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, we're looking at a traditional style active cut toolpath. This style of toolpath will machine the pocket using concentric passes. We're using a solid carbide end mill for this, again 16 millimeters in diameter, 20 millimeters deep for the pocket, and this one's also going to take three depths of cut. This style of toolpath is actually going to finish third in our comparison, coming in right at about 2 minutes 45 seconds. You'll also notice now that in the lower right hand corner, the high speed active cut toolpath has already finished. Now for our last example, let's look in the lower left hand corner. This is also using a traditional active cut style of toolpath, but it's not using a solid carbide tool. It's using a tipped tool using inserts. The tool diameter is also 16 millimeters and the pocket depth is 20 millimeters. But this is going to take actually eight depths of cut to get to the final 20 millimeters deep. So as a recap here, what we've done is we compared four different styles of active cut toolpath that 1CNC provides for pocket machining. The toolpath that finished first was the 1CNC high speed active cut toolpath demonstrated in the lower right hand corner. That used a solid carbide end mill. Next, the Cayman second, which was demonstrated in the upper right corner, that was the 1CNC zigzag active cut toolpath. That came in second, and that also used a solid carbide end mill. Now, coming in third in the upper left-hand corner is the traditional style active cut machining. This is where the pocket was cut in concentric passes. This also used a solid carbide end mill. And lastly, in the lower left-hand corner, you're looking at the traditional active cut machining toolpath, but not using a solid carbide tool, but instead using a tipped tool. Hope this comparison was of great value to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Music